Now I'd like to talk about the topic of tax inclusive. Go to sales, sales invoice. If you look at this invoice, you will see that there is two items that is of the same code, same quantity, same unit price, but they will end up with a different sales subtotal. The reason is item number one use the regular tax calculation of 100 ringgit multiplied by 6% you get a six ringgit tax and therefore add up together is 106 but on item number two the 100 ringgit itself is the net sales value that is already included tax therefore system will need to auto reverse do a calculation when you do a tick to get a lower sales value to get a tax amount the reason is because clients still require to pay tax on tax inclusive it's merely the business reduce the sales value to absorb the tax amount for the client so that the client will get the 100 ringgit as a net sales value how does it look like in the invoice if you look at this invoice you will be able to clearly see the reduced sales value now why isn't the reduced sales value included in the unit price that is because if you do lower your unit price and the client come back again and request for uh, on a second time on a second round request for a tax inclusive from a lower sales value then you will be perpetually lowering and lowering your sales price obviously that is not a situation most business want so that is the topic of tax inclusive I would like to highlight another issue of the sense. Now let's look at this third item. This is an item uh, five ringgit, a uh, five quantity for five ringgit and fifty five uh, fifty cents. What is the tax amount? Clearly, it is not that simple. That is because in GST tax six percent, you will end up with a lot of roundings issues. Um, there is a lot of sense behind it now because this is a tax invoice um, you are not required to round up both at the item level as well as the subtotal level therefore you can print out as it is but if you are doing a manual calculation this will become very very difficult so we encourage client to look into SQL account uh, to solve your billing and invoicing problems